Are you trying to guess where I'm from? I can tell you're on the right track, but here's the twist. I was born in Hungary to Chinese parents and educated in the American school system and now residing in Austria. Surprise! I am often referred to as a third culture kid, or TCK. Third culture kids are byproducts of globalization. And with an increase in globalization and global mobility, very soon, either yourself, your partner, or even your kid may be a third culture kid. So you might be thinking, what is a third culture kid? A TCK is a person who has spent a significant part of his or her developmental years outside the parents' cultures, as defined by David Pollack and my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Ruth Van Raken. At first glance, our background seems privileged, and I am not denying that. However, can you believe more work has been regarding our disadvantages? From challenges in understanding our identity, such as answering the question, where are we from? To unresolved grief due to the loss of a home, a country, and even our friends and family along the way. Today, I am not here to discuss the disadvantages. Rather, focusing on the advantages, what we all can learn from third culture kids. I personally began to understand this through my different experiences, such as being pulled aside to teach a German course to my fellow interns during a summer internship in China, or connecting and collaborating with someone 6,840 kilometers away, creating social media content that supports indigenous tribes in India. And surely, Dr. Anne Cottrell, a prominent TCK researcher, identified common shared TCK skill sets. First, cross-cultural awareness, a heightened awareness and understanding of different cultural practices. Second, adaptability, being able to easily relate to a diverse set of people and being comfortable in different settings. And third, problem solving, being able to draw on our different experiences in new situations. And if you ask me, I'd like to add one more skill to the list, and that is multilingualism, often being able to speak more than one language. Why, you might ask? Well, it sometimes comes in handy when someone unassumingly drops racist comments behind your back. In such instances, you can turn around, look them in the eye, and respond in their language. In beszélek magyarul which means I speak Hungarian. Leaving the person in total shock, confusion, and terror. <laughs> However, in all seriousness, in a time of global unrest, torn by the impacts of the pandemic, war, and climate change, global citizenship is imperative. The UN says global citizenship is about embracing social responsibility for the benefit of all societies, not just our own. TCKs, as citizens of the world, embody skill sets in the global citizenship framework in Education First. Cross-cultural awareness, adaptability, and problem solving. Our scattered upbringing is no longer a coincidence. We are an indispensable role in the international arena. Our background equipped to solve global challenges in our world today. However, when disasters strike or conflicts erupt far away, some may still think 
How does this concern me? The impacts go into our local communities. Global citizenship is often ignored because we feel often disconnected rather than interconnected. It's not about yours or mine, it's all ours. And it begins with individuals to achieve this global progress. So you might be thinking, how do I develop global citizenship qualities? First, cross-cultural awareness. Understanding why somebody comes from a different background. And this may mean questioning yourself. What is your intention when you ask, where are you from? Is this to simply confirm your own expectations or to truly understand their cultural origins and experiences? Number two, nurture adaptability with an open mindset. Appreciate the beauty of diversity. This may mean understanding why most shops and businesses are closed on Sundays in Austria. Or that maybe a yes may actually mean a no, understanding the nuances in different communication styles. And lastly, embracing problem solving. Letting life flow lead you to new experiences and solutions. Allow me to leave you with one final thought, and that is, global citizenship is not a matter of yours or mine. It's all ours. <laughs>